I just made a huge mistake on eBay. Hey guys, Ken here. Welcome back to the channel. I just made a huge mistake uh, on eBay and I wanted to get this video out just as a warning that, you know, it won't happen to you because it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to turn out to be, but it still cost me some time. And of course, you know, in business, time is money. What happened was I have a bunch of postcards on my eBay store that have to do with aviation. You know, I love aviation, I love airplanes, and like I said before in a previous video, anything in the transportation category is a good seller on eBay as far as postcards, right? I have a bunch of TWA aircraft uh, postcards, and since TWA kind of went belly up years ago, I, I actually worked for them for a year, um, you know, that's a valuable card because people worked for them. Maybe they were a pilot that flew for them or whatever. So any business like that that's gone out of business is a collectible and people love to collect those types of cards. If this hadn't happened, then I probably wouldn't have known about it. I'm, I'm kind of glad it did. So what happened was I got a sale today. And so, you know, I'm like, oh, great. You know, it was like a $6.25 sale. So I went to the... Um, to create the label for it through the eBay standard envelope tracking system. And all of a sudden, I realized there's no option for that system on this page. And I'm like, where'd the option go? You know, this doesn't make any sense. I've been using this system for about a month and it just doesn't make any sense. Why isn't it here? So I scrolled down the page and sure enough, there it was at the bottom of the page, but the whole section was grayed out. In other words, the category that I had it listed in did not qualify for the eBay standard envelope system. And what had happened is I, I did some research into this and I looked at another card on somebody else's page that had a similar postcard, you know, similar to mine, and I noticed they had it in a slightly different category. I thought it was being real slick. And I had it under collectibles and transportation and aircraft and TWA, because it's a brand name, you know, aircraft, right? So I said, oh, that'll narrow it down, that'll niche it down, and I'll get a lot of interest there, it'll get a lot of traffic there, right? I thought it was a glitch at first. I was, I was kind of livid. I'm like, oh, here we go, another eBay glitch, right? And I contacted eBay for business, and I said, what, what's going on here? I, I don't understand. I've been using this system for over a month and it's given me no problems. And now all of a sudden it says this category doesn't qualify. So like I said, when I looked at that category and then I looked at somebody else's category, I noticed that their category was just a little tiny bit slightly different. And it was under collectibles, postcards, transportation, and aircraft. And I'm like... That's why mine didn't qualify, because it didn't have the word postcards in the keywords for that category. Now, I have it in the title. I have it in the uh, description, you know, but it wasn't in the category. So my advice to you is if you're selling postcards on eBay, make sure that the word postcard is in your category. I know it sounds like something like would come out of Captain Obvious, <laughs> but I just thought I was being real, you know, careful with my selection of categories. But because of the fact that my initial category didn't have the word postcard in the category, then the system, the only thing I can figure is the system, eBay system, probably configured it as a collectible but not a postcard. And since it was not considered a postcard, it didn't qualify for the eBay standard envelope system, you know, tracking system. So that postcard today is going out just the regular old PWE method. I'm putting a stamp on it. It'll still get there. 
it just won't be any tracking on it. But, you know, I used that for over a year and it didn't give me any problems anyway. So it's not a big deal. But the thing is, I was able to go back in and use the bulk editing tool and do one uh, page at a time. And it took me about an hour, but I had to go through all my TWA and Braniff and American and Continental airlines that had, you know, any kind of a branding to them and uh, correct it, you know, and correct the categories. And like I said, it took me about an hour, but I just wanted to warn you guys, if you're doing that, if you've got that, you know, listed and you've got, you haven't got the word postcards in your listing, then chances are you won't qualify for that eBay standard envelope system and it won't give you that option. And you'll have to send it the PWE method, you know. So I just wanted to get this video out to you just to kind of act as a warning. Don't do what I did. <laughs> like I said, it didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was. I was thinking, oh my goodness, I've got other types of things. I got boats. I got ships. I got uh, helicopters. I, you know, I got trains. And I'm thinking, I'm going to have to correct all that stuff. And I thought I was going to have to do it all individually. But I figured out a way that I could go in and do it uh, in the bulk editor, there's a way that you can go off to the side and it says edit individually. And while it's in the bulk editing tool, you can just do individual pages and then just hit save and next. And that's a lot faster than having to go into each individual listing. My goodness. And have to correct it and then resave it and then go back to the page and do the next one. That would have taken forever. <laughs> and I mean forever. But fortunately, my other aircraft, my other transportation cards were fine. They were in that correct uh, category of collectibles, postcards, transportation. And if it wasn't aircraft, it was like boats and ships or if, or if it was like uh, cities and towns or whatever. But it was in the right category because it had the word postcards in it. Just that one little word messed me up. And like I said, I was like panicking there for a while because I'm like, oh, this is going to cost me all day. I'm going to do this all day. But it didn't. It took me about an hour to get it fixed. And thank God it it actually happened. So I was aware of it because I wasn't even aware of it, guys. I mean, I thought I had everything in the right, proper, you know, category. And I just, you know, I just blew it. But thank God I was able to correct it. And I contacted eBay for Business on Facebook and explained to them that it was my mistake. And I figured out what that mistake was. And thank God, it just, uh, it worked out. <laughs> so I wanted to get this out to you. I hope that's helped you. If it did in any way, make sure you smash that like button. And it really helps the channel. I, I appreciate it. And uh, I guess that's it for now. You guys have a great day. And don't forget, if you sell postcards, make sure that postcards is in the category. <laughs> Okay, I'll catch you guys later. You guys have a great day and bye for now.